episode of Untamed Outdoorsman. Today, we're gonna to be doing a little bit unique of a video. Uh, I'm gonna be showcasing all of my tackle and how I have it set up for this upcoming year. Um, like we've said in other videos, this year is gonna be probably the craziest year we've ever had on the channel in terms of fishing trips and doing fun stuff on the water. Um, and we just wanted to show you guys how we're setting everything up for this year. Um, this may not interest everybody, but I know it's a lot of you that are interested in the small things like this. Um, so it's just going to be a pretty simple video. I'm going to be showing you my soft plastics, I'm going to be showing you my hard baits, how I have each one set up, um, and why I do it, why, is, why I like to do that a certain way. Um, so yeah guys, we're just going to get started right away here. Um, so this is my soft plastic bag. Originally, I, I was going with the Guggen Squad money bag style system where I just had three or four bags full of different types of baits. So I had one for craws, one for stick baits, one for creature baits, things like that. Um, that was getting really tedious because I didn't feel like taking out four giant bags at a time and loading them into the back of the boat. It was taking up a lot of space. Um, so I'm going to be going with this method for this year. So this is just one big bag. Um, I've had this Plano bag for years now. There's a very old video on our channel talking about it. Um, but this bag is just going to have all my soft plastics in it. Um, just ones that I know that I'm going to need that are essential. Um, they're going to have them in here. Because a lot of the time when I'm using my soft plastics, I'll maybe use like five of those soft plastic bags on a trip. Maybe. That's pushing it. So this is going to have all my essentials in here. And if I know I'm going to need something else, I'll bring it. Um, but I can show you guys what's in here right now. So yeah, guys, as you can see, this is our Plano box here with all my soft plastics in it. Like I said, no real rhyme or reason to it, just a couple essential things. So I got some stick baits in here. Um, I got some, I got a variety of stuff in here, a couple of baits. I'm not going for it being neat. I'm really just going for it being there on the water because this isn't really a whole lot to look around. Um, I, I can find whatever I need pretty easily. Um, so that's gonna have everything soft plastic related that I'll need on a trip, all my essential stuff that I know I'm going to use. Um, and then if you open up this bag right here, I just have some spare tools. So I have my spare scissors here. I've got spare fi fish grips, anything extra, God forbid something ever happens, it'll be in this bag. So there's no need for, you know, just in case I forget something, I'll have extras. Um, but this is all my soft plastic storage here. Okay, so next is the Yak Attack Black Pack Pro 16 by 16. So you guys have seen this on the channel a million times. I'm not gonna talk too, too much about it. If you wanna see more information on it, I'll leave it up at the top right now. But this is gonna be all my hard baits. So I'll show you guys in a minute how I have it set up. But when I open this up, I might not be able to clear it, but I have all of these Flambeau 4,000 size bins in here. So Pete actually has his set up a similar way. I'll be showing that in a minute, but I have a full row of the 4,000 boxes, the Flambeau ones, and then I have 5,000 size boxes on the side here. Um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. Okay, so now on to my tackle organization inside my Black Pack Pro here, 16 by 16. So I have all of these 4,000 size crates here. So Topwater Frogs, Square Bills, Topwater 2, Jigs, Chatterbaits, Crankbaits, just lipless crankbaits, jerkbaits, things like that in that one. Swim baits, uh, pallet, some extra paddle toe swim baits, and then actual swim baits. So this one should nearly be empty. Yeah, so as you guys can see, I just got like a junior contender in there and things like that. Uh, and then I have spinner baits, terminal tackle, and deep diving crankbaits. So there you go right there. I only have a few, but and then I have unique stuff in there as well. So like things like that, like the duck. Uh, but that's going to be everything I have in there. We, we're going to go quickly over what's in the boxes. Okay guys, so this is my first box. This is the top water box. So this has my jitterbugs in there. I'm starting to fish with jitterbugs a little bit more. We might be doing a video on some uh, old fashioned style baits. So I have jitterbugs in here, whopper ploppers, um, some walking baits, Guggen Squad Hound, things like that, Strike King KVD, Sexy Dog, um, and just general top water stuff. This is not frogs. So this one is my frogs. So this one is my frogs. So I've got um, regular frogs, so Guggen Squad ones, I've got Lunker Hunt ones, uh, I've got Z-Man ones, Booyah ones, and then I also have Poppin' Frogs down here. So I've got Six Sense ones, which I'm actually very excited to try. My Six Sense ones here, super nice. And then I've got a couple more Poppin' Frogs, and then I've got these nicer big ones. Um, uh, this one I think is a live target one. And then I have another Guggen Squad one. Surprisingly, I don't hate the Guggen Squad ones. I think they're actually halfway decent. 
So next is my top water too. So this one has, I ran out of room in my first top water box. This one has all my extras. So I have more wild ploppers here. I bought them as like a buy five, get five or something like that. I got a ton of them. Um, I have Booyah walking frogs. So these have little paddles on the back. They essentially work like a wild plopper. Um, this new river to sea buzzbait wapa plopper combo that I'm really excited to try. I am really looking forward to that. Um, see the brand new six cents speed wake, uh, new to me at least. Um, I'm really excited to try this one as well. Um, super new. They showed up at my local, uh, sporting goods store last couple of weeks. And then I just have a few more booyah frogs. And then I have a special duck lure. Okay, so jigs and chatterbaits now. So this one is going to have jigs on this side and chatterbaits on this side. So I have different colors here. I got reds, black and blues, uh, green pumpkins, and then I have a few tubes down here just because I didn't know where else to put them. Um, and then over here is all my jigs, same thing, all organized by color, um, black and blue, uh, kind of like that green chartreuse, white style ones or natural colors, anything green pumpkin down here and then red down here. So pretty simple there. All right, so this is my biggest one by far. So this one is crankbaits, et cetera. So this is everything but square bill crankbaits. So I got jerk baits here. I got lipless cranks, um, various different things in here. Uh, I have quite a bit of jerk baits because I am kind of a big fan of jerk baits, especially this time of year. Um, I do have a few lipless cranks, but they're flat. So they're flat style lipless crankbaits. And then I have just smaller lipless crankbaits in here as well. But this one's pretty full. So this is all my square bills. Um, I have Guggen ones. I've got Six Sense ones. I've got various different brands from Monster Bass boxes, Mystery Tackle boxes. Uh, I've, I have some 13 fishing ones in here, Strike King ones in here. Um, just a ton of various colors and sizes. Um, I, I've been using this box quite a bit. As you can see, it's got some use in here. But yeah. All right, so this one's next. Not much to talk about here. Uh, my swim baits, this is going to be a growing setup. I'm going to be putting like my Mega Bass ones in here. Um, things like that, any, any other, uh, swim baits I get by Guggen, anything like that. Um, I'm going to be putting them in here. All right. So this is my spinner bait and buzz bait setup. So I have all my spinner baits right here. Um, I have smaller sizes on the bottom, bigger sizes on the top. And then I have my buzz baits on the very top here. So I have different variations here. I have some Bass Pro ones in here, some XPS ones, uh, Booyah, quite a bit of Guggen. I'm a big Guggen fan when it comes to spinner baits. Um, and then just various sizes and colors in here. Okay guys, so one of the last ones, second before the last is all my terminal tackle. So this one has just so many various things. It's tough to really get a good look at it from the camera, but I got Ned rig hooks, wacky rig hooks, Texas rigs, EWGs, bullet weights, trebles. Um, I have a couple liters. I don't use those anymore. Um, some bobber stops, just so many different terminal stuff in here. Okay, so for the last box, I have one more thing. So this is all my deep diving crankbaits and my specialty lures. So, you know, I have a couple of different here. This one is a Rapala, I believe. I got some Strike King. I have a Yozuri one in here. Um, I've got this guy here. Nice, nice little thing there. Okay, guys, so that's everything in my box for tackle that'll be on the kayak for 2023. Um, so we're going to take a look at Pete's really quickly. All right, guys, so this is Pete's setup now. So Pete has the same exact box as mine, just in olive green. So it's the Yagatech Black Pack Pro 16 by 16. Um, so we're going to open this guy up. So he has a similar setup to mine. This is how Pete has it set up. So he has jigs and chatterbaits in here, swim baits, crank baits, jerk baits, top water, senkos, creature, craws, stick baits, frogs, this one's empty, and terminal tackle. So Pete decided he wanted to go with the soft plastics inside the trays. So he has them inside the, the crates here. So as you can see, he's got all the soft plastics, creature, cross. So he did a little bit different to what I did. I like to keep them inside the actual packaging. Pete prefers to keep them in here. He really likes to do that. So as you guys can see, he's got all of his jigs and chatterbaits in here. Swim bait's gonna go in here. So this includes all the paddle tails, things like that, various brands. I got Biospawn, things like that in there. Crankbaits, so he's got all of his different colors, so red, sexy shad colors, baby bass colors, chartreuse ones. Jerkbaits, just a handful of jerkbaits in here right now. He's going to be growing this collection a little bit. Topwater, so this has all of his walking baits, uh, wobble ploppers, hula poppers, things like that. Um, 
I think he has a jitterbug in there. Yep, he does have a jitterbug in there as well. He has an old lock plopper right there. So his Senkos and stick baits are going to be right here. Various colors, black and blue, watermelon, white, chartreuse. All these different colors here. Creature baits, pretty self-explanatory there as well. He's got some frogs, some craws, some various things. And this is mainly his craws. So he has all different colors here, black and blue, green pumpkin, and then various colors here, white, baby bass, watermelon, things like that. His stick baits, so this has some Zoom trick worms, some Berkeley, things like that, some various things there. So this is all of his frogs. He has a ton of frogs. Pete loves to frog fish. Um, he's got a ton of different frogs here, popping, walking, different types. And that one's obviously empty, and this one's all his terminal tackle, and this one's clear. So he's got various things that he knows he's, he's going to need. But this is all of Pete's tackle, guys. So he, keeps the, he likes to keep things all in, in one box, which is actually really cool. Um, yeah, he's definitely really excited to be starting the new fishing season as well. Okay guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, I know this one is not the most exciting one in the world, but I, like I said, I know quite a bit of you are interested in this. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it's free and it helps us out a lot. Uh, we are, we have, we have been fishing. Uh, unfortunately I've been out three times this year. I haven't caught much, so there hasn't really been any videos on it, but we do have some really exciting ones planned including the brand new Yak Attack bar cart, which I bought today at the time of recording this. Um, and I'm super excited to be getting that in the mail and getting that for you guys. Um, so yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you see you next time. See you later.